from their brackets and their gaskets. Now we're going to go ahead and get these brackets cleaned up real quick. Alright, so that went quite nicely. Got a lot of the rust off. Time to do the same to the other side real quick. So we've got that one cleaned up, looking good. So what I used to remove the rust and the old paint from the trailer was one of these paint and rust removal discs for the angle grinder. They're like 12, 13 bucks at Walmart. I've used this one for a couple different projects, so it's toast now. It's finally finished off. I'm not going to be able to use it anymore, so I'm going to throw it away. But it got this project done, so that's awesome. I love those discs. They work really well. They don't cut into the metal. Uh, but they do remove paint, stickers. Uh... If you're removing stickers with it it's gonna remove the paint with it too but gets the job done uh, helps remove rust pretty easily as you saw that dust that old paint came flying off really All right, easy. next thing we're gonna do is just spray paint these with some rust-oleum <laughs> So first thing we're gonna do is identify our wires. So we've got a green, brown, we've got a green and a brown and a white. Okay. So brown is going to probably be our ground. And green is going to probably be our power. And white is definitely our ground. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to cut this off as close to the connection as possible so I don't have to remove the grounding wire. these connections here. Alright, we're gonna slice this wire sleeve a little bit here. So we can get a little more wire out, which is why they include a little bit extra wire so repairs can be made. So we've got wire exposed. Time to strip the ends. Our ground wire here. Straight. Black wire here. Straight up. Then power wire strips. All right, unplug the trailer real quick. I grabbed the new light while I was at it. So we're gonna go ahead and get our connections out. 
which is three of these. We'll grab our new wiring harness. We'll do our wires here. So once we strip these wires, I go ahead and twist the ends on them so that they slide into the solder connections real easily. So I just twist them, you can see that, but just slide one in there. slide the other end in. There's one. Somebody's truck's having issues. <laughs> We're going to test this really quick. We have power. Yep, we've got power. Let's make sure we got blinky blinky. <laughs> yep, we got blinky blinky. All right, we can disconnect. Now we just grab the torch and heat up these connections. All right, time to test this one more time. We've done everything right. It'll still work. And, uh, be able to wrap it all make it good to go something I've always learned doing electrical is check your work after every step all right so the blinking is working just check our constant marker light function all right, so check our marker light function and we have power. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, do what we did on the other side. Wrap each individual connection with electrical tape, just to give it an extra layer of protection. Each individual connection is wrapped electrical tape. Go ahead and press those ends down, make it look a little bit better. Then we're going to go ahead and trim off this extra wire insulation here. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our wire loom. Ahead and cut the excess wire loom off. All right, 
Now I just need some zip ties. So that is how that's done. This is the old light. Like I showed you guys in the last video, or earlier in the video, I got another brand new LED. Brand new LED one. Let's clean off this old gasket here. Keep that connection clean while we do this. We're going to stick the gasket in the hole. And then we're going to see how we can get this light to go in this gasket. Go ahead and take that electrical connection off. Then go ahead and plug it in. Beautiful. It's working. And just clean up these zip tie ins here and be golden. <laughs> Now we're going to go ahead and plug our light back in, like so. And then just go ahead and zip tie that there. Like so. It's working. Zip tie and trimmed. All right, now just pick up all our trash. Since this light's still working, we're going to keep it. Just in case one of these goes out on me. Since I know it still works. It's a free spare part. So go ahead and pick up our trash real quick. Only takes us a second. I didn't do a hundred of these, so only takes us a second to clean it up. Be professional. Alright. So there's the driver's side light. Flashing, looking good. And there's our passenger side light, blinking, looking good. 